So here it is. We're finally seeing very clear indications that the DJI Neo 2 is gearing up for an official rollout this November. And this time, the timetable actually checks out. We've been talking for a while now about DJI's next sub-250G drone getting closer, and now the signals are growing much firmer. Although the Neo 2 will appear palm-sized, it's shaping up to carry all the kind of muscle that video makers, travelers, vloggers, and even first-time flyers can really enjoy. So let's walk through its expected timeline, the upgrades we're hearing about, and very importantly, why this could be one of the most compelling compact drones to drop in the near future. To kick things off, let's talk about when this thing might land. Industry chatter and dealer listings are pointing toward a mid-November 2025 announcement. That lines up well with DJI's usual cadence. In past launches, if an upcoming product shows up in FCC registrations, DJI typically takes around 100 to 120 days before the public debut. The Neo 2's listing apparently went live in late July, which puts us neatly in the November window. Even if DJI slips a little, there's hardly any reason to believe the launch will drag towards spring. The visible window currently sits between roughly November 10th and early January. But given the holiday shopping season, a November drop makes far more sense. Now, what kind of drone are we really talking about here? This one remains under the 250G category, meaning users in many countries won't need to register it. Always a huge plus for travel creators and casual flyers. But don't let the low weight fool you. It isn't just a little selfie quad anymore. DJI appears to be positioning it more as a miniature cinematic powerhouse, something compact and nimble that can fly safely indoors and yet handle agile. FPV-style camera moves outdoors. What does that mean in practical terms? It means the Neo 2 likely features a very compact form factor with built-in prop guards and flight controls that balance simplicity with the responsiveness and control you'd expect of a more advanced kit. It's a bridge product, between the entry-level just-for-fun drones and a full FPV rig built for pros. Under the hood, the power specs appear to get a serious bump. For example, where the original model may have had a smaller battery, the Neo 2 is reportedly equipped with a NAR 16960 MHA pack. That upgrade takes flight time up from about 18 minutes to something more like 20-25 minutes. That extra time may seem modest, but in real-world shooting situations, those extra minutes can be critical. Whether you're capturing a scenic travel montage, doing a quick interior walkthrough, or practicing dynamic tracking shots. Because the drone remains light, the increase in capacity doesn't appear to compromise agility. Rather, it stretches the flight sessions in a useful way. On the flight performance front, the Neo 2 looks to be playing serious catch-up with more advanced models. The wind resistance rating reportedly hits level 5, which means it should stay stable even in moderate breeze outdoors. Top speed in sport mode climbs to about 16 ms, letting you whip around for action shots and move between frames quickly. The biggest leap, however, is in transmission. This thing is said to use DJI's O4 system, which brings a range of up to about 10 kilometers under FCC standards. That kind of range, combined with a stronger feed and lower latency, means you're less likely to suffer frame loss, stutter or dropouts, ideal when you're composing smooth, cinematic aerial footage far from home base, Automation also joins the upgrade mix. DJI is reportedly equipping the Neo 2 with ActiveTrack 6.0, gesture and voice control capability, and compatibility with a motion controller. For content creators who often fly solo, think vloggers, solo travelers, walking tours, this is a big deal. You can set the drone to track you or a subject, speak a command or make a gesture to pop into the shot, and control flight motions with more intuitive input. That means less time fussing with the remote and more time staying in the frame and capturing the moment. Let's get to the camera, because at the end of the day, that's what many creators care about most. The Neo 2 reportedly steps up with a 1.1.3 inch CMOS sensor, which is a sizable improvement over the smaller 1 per 2 inch unit in the earlier version. That gives wider dynamic range, better low light behavior, deeper color, and cleaner 4K output. It's reportedly capable of 4K at 60 FPS, supports 10-bit HDR video, and includes log profile recording, D-Log-M, for those who want to color grade in post. In other words, you're getting what we used to regard as mid-tier drone footage quality in a device that still fits in your backpack or travel kit. Storage also sees an upgrade. The Neo 2 is said to have 122 g bars of internal storage built in. Not massive, but enough for spontaneous flights. 
quick grabs and maybe hitting the field without a micro SD on hand. Handy when you're out shooting on the fly. How much better is it than the original Neo? Weight appears to stay roughly the same, which means all the regulatory benefits remain. Same under 250 dream category, same travel-friendly status. But nearly every other aspect moves forward. The sensor gets bigger, the video capabilities get richer, wind resistance goes up, transmission range improves, prop guards are stronger, more practical for indoor use, and automation gets smarter. In short, this is less just the next generation, and more a full reimagining of what a compact flying camera can be. Let's talk about price. Early estimates suggest a base kit of around US 220 knives for the Neo 2, slightly higher than the first generation, but still firmly within the entry-level drone tier. DJI's usual approach means package tiers will scale. A standard set around 229 to 329, dual battery or two battery kit around 379, and a full fly more combo between $429, $529. This tiering means there's an option for casual flyers, travel vloggers, and even semi-serious creators who want extra flexibility out of their compact rig. Now, what does all this mean and how should you think about the Neo 2? The DJI Neo 2 feels less like a simple sequel and more like a complete refresh of what a sub-250G drone can deliver. It keeps all the portability and regulatory simplicity of the lighter class, but layers on serious upgrades, larger battery for longer flight, enhanced wind resistance and range for more confident outdoor shooting, advanced automation for easier content creation, and a camera system that materially improves on image quality. If you're a creator who values portability without cutting quality, or a traveler vlogger looking for a compact rig that doesn't feel like a toy, this could be the most capable compact drone DJI has launched to date. If the November timeframe is accurate, this drone will hit just in time for the holiday season, giving both new flyers and seasoned creators something exciting to grab. And with the FCC regulatory embargo due to lift around mid-January at the latest, the path to release is clear. All signs point to the Neo 2 being the small drone that finally feels professional rather than just fun to fly. I'd love to hear what you think. Will you consider upgrading your gear? Stay tuned for more camera news, in-depth reviews, travel tech breakdowns, and creator gear insights right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.